Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have three different cards that we're going to be able to review on my boy's account over here. One of them is going to be the new SPC Saul card, which is obviously going to be the first one to review so that I can let you guys know whether or not he's worth getting. And then we're going to have Diego Carlos, which is obviously a big one as well, with Yuri. We're just going to call him Yuri because I don't even know what his last name is or if it's part of his first name. So with Saul's card, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at a card that is six foot tall with high, high work rates, three star skill moves with a four star weak foot. However, he is a left footed player. Now, with cards like this, there's two different positions I can see this card already being used in, right? It's obviously in the left center mid position in a 4 1 2 1 2 and obviously the 4 2 3 1 position. Now, 4-2-3-1 is obviously one of the most meta formations, and I really feel like he'd play that position well because of the fact that he's six, six foot tall. If he has the right defensive stats to make this card really good, it'll be an ideal situation. So if we take a look at his actual in-game stats, we have 85 acceleration with 84 sprint speed, which is good, obviously, as a base card stats because you can now choose to decide whether or not you want to give him a shadow chemistry style or an anchor chemistry style, right? Um, in regards to his shooting abilities, he actually has really good shooting abilities, right? 87 finishing, 91 shot power, and 90 long shots, obviously all very good. He also has 91 attacking positioning, which we we are obviously going to test out in game to see what he's like on the balance instruction whether he utilizes empty space a certain way um he has great passing ability 99 short passing 97 long passing with 96 composure 96 composure as base card stats is absolutely brilliant by the ways um in regards to his dribbling I mean, it's basically telling you like, hey, if you want to give me an engine chemistry style to boost my balance by a plus 10 while also being six foot tall with a plus five for agility, plus five for acceleration and sprint speed, as well as a passing boost that's going to be like really not that existent. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of potential right there, right? In regards to physical abilities, he obviously has really good base physical abilities as well. If you want to give him a shadow chemistry style with those physical stats already, that would be perfectly fine. But then I'm kind of thinking, right, with him in the midfield, we're going to be able to try him out with the anchor chemistry style first because I want to see what his pace is like and what his defensive awareness is like tracking after players after he pushes up and what he's like in the actual defensive area right because high high work rates is a very interesting work rate to have in a team because it's either you're defensive oriented or attacking oriented or you're just a combination of the two right so um because he's a high high work rated player he could be a really good box to box like someone like uh the moments Kimmich card or you know he could just be super defensive oriented which again we will try out if we give him the anchor chemistry style ladies and gentlemen he's gonna get 90 acceleration with 89 sprint speed but the Physical stats that are improved drastically, that are very, very important, is strength and aggression. Because of the fact that he's six foot tall with a pretty big body type in game, not like super stockish, but he's like a like a tall stockish, if that makes sense. Um, that, with the defensive stat increase, when he already has decent dribbling in the CDM position of 4-2-3-1, you're obviously looking at a fantastic card because... In my opinion, increasing his defensive stats drastically while he's being while he's a six foot player, it's a kind of it's kind of a nice thing to have in a team, right? Now, in this guy's team over here, he has a setup where he has Kovacic and Saul on the same team. The Kovacic, I believe, is a first owner player. I got the same card as him, right? Um, so that's why he's using him in the squad. But it may or may not be ideal with two high, high work rate players. You kind of have to play a specific way if you want to make those two work in your team, right? Because it's it's nice to have the balance of having someone that is a medium high work rate player next to someone that has that is a high, high work rate player. So in regards to how the team will be lined up in game, we're going to be using some pretty generic 4-2-3-1 tactics. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to be using, I would say... I would say four and two, but we're going to keep it on balance with balanced defensive tactics. Now, with the midfielders being as they are, we're going to have Griezmann over there to the middle position. Ayosi Perez will go ahead and put to the side over here, to the left side. And we're going to have Thomas Lamar on the right because he has the crazy finesse shot trait. But the most important thing that we're going to test out here is going to be Kovacic playing with Saul because I wouldn't necessarily call Kovacic super defensive oriented. He's kind of a combination of the two, right? So it's definitely going to be a cool combination to test out with him and, Kov and with Saul and Kovacic in the same squad. 
we're going to see how that works out. Uh, rest of the team, come back in the fence is fine. Come back in the fence for Vardy. I'm telling you this right now, Griezmann and Vardy are going to be moving like this off each other because... I don't know, man. Vardy's movement just, he just keeps moving all over the place. It's really, really nice. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have cover center. I never like cover wing for the CDMs like you could when your fullbacks aggressively push up, but you guys know how I am. So, let me just make sure that these are on the defensive tactics, which they are. So, yeah. Uh, let me see how much this card costs just for me checking it from here. This is an SBC, is it not? It's not going to show me the price here. It might show me after the review today. So, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully, he's a pretty decent player. Okay, let's see how he dribbles in game. Yeah, I, I wouldn't increase the dribbling. So what I've what I actually failed to mention with this card was that his three main dribbling stats, guys, are actually quite high. So because those three main dribbling stats are actually in a good spot in regards to base chemistry, um, he doesn't need to be improved in the balance. Now, do you notice it? 100% you notice it. So maybe if you want to use him in the center mid position, you may want to uh, increase that as much as possible because you want him to be more responsive in regards to the balance part of his card. But I feel like if you're going to be using him in the CDM position, um, it'll just mostly be ideal to just give him the anchor chemistry style so that that way he can defend a little better. Right now, we're going to be trying him out with just the basic chemistry style to see what I feel like he's missing. But... I mean, I just want to see if his dribbling needs to be improved. And to be honest, it, in the CDM position, it doesn't need to be. And that's Vardy. You see, Vardy moves off really well with the right cams, man. He does. Saul's actually kind of like attacking oriented. Like, I, I noticed that on the balance instruction, he actually does utilize empty space uh, pretty quickly. Which is pretty cool. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Because uh, I think... Uh, him and Kovacic have a pretty good balance between uh, between each other right now. Yuri again with a defensive play. Let's go, baby. When he's transitioning from the defense to the attack, Saul actually is positioned quite nicely. It's over here where you notice that he actually starts to attack a little bit more. So you can see that he starts to utilize that empty space pretty quickly. Um, like right here, you see how he's attacking? Oh, but, the, you know, one of the best players in the game with Griezmann just dribbling like an absolute monster. Yeah, guys, he's he's definitely pretty attacking oriented. I, I didn't think he would be that attacking oriented, but he is a little bit. But it's not brainless runs. It's not like someone like Julian Brandt's team of the season card, right? Like, I feel like he's definitely selecting his runs really nicely, which is fantastic, obviously, because we want players to have that balance, right? Because if I tell him to stay back while attacking... You could expect someone that will have a small attacking presence, but, you know, he could be really good defensively, right? See? The way that he offers his support every time he attacks. Good dribbling. Nice. Just a little physical presence right there to get the ball back. Yeah, so the bounce part, again, still very noticeable in the car that it's low. So if you want to increase that with the engine chemistry style, again, you definitely could. But, I mean, you can definitely see that he has this attacking presence about him, right? I think if I have him on stay back while attacking, he'll actually be really solid in the squad. So again, we're just testing him on the basic chemistry style just to see what he's like. Uh, but it's pretty obvious that he's really attacking oriented. Okay, guys, so I've seen enough with him in regards to the basic chemistry style. We're going to go ahead and try to use him on the stay back while attacking now because Kovacic is obviously outperforming him defensively because he's always in the right position at the right time. But I kind of want to see how Saul is going to position himself in the defensive areas uh, whenever I need him to be there. You can kind of see even in this situation right here, he's a little bit higher up because, again, he's more attacking oriented, right? So... That left-footed pass that he has, obviously hugely beneficial right there. Yeah, just a nice little composure. You know, it doesn't want to shoot the ball right away for some reason, but... <laughs> yeah, guys, so, so far with Saul's card on balance instructions, you, you should definitely expect this card to be a more attacking-oriented, high, high work rated player than a defensive one. Like, as you guys know, when I was using a flashback Vidal's card, that card was just freaking amazing because of how defensive oriented he already was without the instruction. So right now what we're going to be doing, right, is we're going to go ahead and use the instruction 
of stay back while attacking for Saul. So him and Kovacic are playing the exact same instructions now, right? We're going to go ahead and see how he moves around the pitch without the defensive stat increase. Because I want to see if he's good with base card stats in regards to defensive presence, right? Because he obviously needs the anchor to improve drastically defensively, right? So... So because he's on stay back while attacking now, guys, for the rest of this game, we'll actually play just normally and see just how I feel about the card in regards to his positioning and whatnot. Yeah, you can see he's more defensive oriented now. So on the, on the stay back while attacking, he'll play that instruction really nicely. Nice interception right there. So we lose the ball in that situation. Once Kovacic starts to push up, Saul actually goes back. So this is a good rotational player, guys. Like if you want to put whatever instruction you want on him. I feel like he'll play um, whatever you choose to put on him really, really nicely. Attacking presence right there. He's going to play off of Kovacic, but because we have the stay back while attacking instruction on the card, he transitions back in the defensive area quickly. Oh, I didn't score that with Vardy. No way. Nice interception there with Saul. Good defensive presence, obviously, to uh, to get that ball back right there. It's good that his attacking presence is really solid on the bounce because you can tell that with stay back while attacking, just the way that he moves around the pitch to open up the space for other players is actually quite nice. Oh, I thought I had that right there. Oh, what's happening? I don't know. Uh, things are just going down. I'm, I don't know what's happening. Uh, FIFA. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, this game is funny, man. This is a funny game. Iosi Perez, man, is he, he's such a strange card. Like he's incredibly usable for sure, but I feel like he mo he ruins the uh, the vibes of the team. You know, it's a it's a very strange thing with him. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I don't, I don't like the way that he moves meta wise. If that makes any sense, he kind of ruins the team. You know, like putting Griezmann off to the side is a complete waste. By the way, he's just too good in the middle to do that. That was really funny, man. All right, guys, so final verdict on Saul's card. So it doesn't actually say it on the actual card when I uh, go look at it, but you guys can see right here that it's 186K and 200K for the PlayStation. So with this card, it's very interesting because it, it really depends on how you're going to play him. I think that on the stay back while in, uh, the stay back while attacking instruction for the CDM position, you're going to be looking at a very, very good CDM. If you have this balance of having a medium high work rate player next to him on the right side, it could be a hugely beneficial thing because of the fact that, you know, he's very, very well balanced in regards to pushing up and coming back with the stay back while attacking instruction. However, on the balance instruction, he's actually very attacking oriented. So if you wanted to use this card as a 4 one 2 and 2 with 91 attacking positioning on balance instructions and the center mid position on the left side, you're going to be looking at someone that is going to offer you that attacking presence and he'll do it consistently because of the fact that he is a high, high work rate of player. So you should expect that if you want to use him in a 4 one 2 and 2 So, you know, maybe... If you end up doing that, you may want to give him an engine chemistry style to make him more responsive in that center mid position because of the fact that he already has a great shooting presence, passing presence, um, defense, and physical presence, right? So it could be an ideal ideal situation to give him an engine. But you could see even right here that people have given him an, uh, uh, an engine, a shadow, and an anchor. Now, anchor chemistry style is fine if you have him on stay back while attacking. But just so that you can have this nice little rotation with this card... Obviously, the Shadow Chemistry style is still going to be the best card to give him because his physical stats are already there, but making his defensive stats essentially perfect with really, really good pace, you have a very good balance of being able to rotate him in the squad however you want because even without the defensive increase from a chemistry style, this card was performing really, really nicely in-game with the chemistry styles as they were, right? So to my boy Vincent that gave me this account, I would recommend the Shadow Chemistry Style on him, although it is a, an expensive chemistry style to give. So you could settle for the anchor for now on Stay Back while attacking, but a Shadow is the most ideal to be able to rotate this card in different ways. So for 200k, guys, um, it's not bad. I would say I would probably value him at like... I mean, you know what? 200k for the value that he offers in game, it kind of makes sense in all fairness. Yeah, I think 200k is pretty good for the card, to be honest with you guys. If it was like 300, I'd be like, "Whoa, we're gonna, we're getting to a bigger level over here that I don't like." But 200k, not bad, especially if you have untradeables in your club, you know. So 
yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this player review. I'll catch you guys for the other ones. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.